For the mighty God we serve. He's such a protector of his own, that he takes care of his own. If you are a child of God, you are here in Christ, in God. That's the scripture, and it cannot be broken. That's the way it is. The psalm says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. Do you live a righteous life unto God? Do you live unto God? They are receptive for you. We are going to read Psalm 22, verse 20. Psalm 22, verse 20. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth and from the horns of the wild oxen. The troubles of life coming from different directions, different styles. You hold it this way, it comes out another way. You are thinking of this one, something else is happening. That is the confusion that comes on to life from different directions. Here you have the sword, the dog, the lion, the wild oxen. That, different things. And they all act differently. The sword has a different impact. The dog, a different kind of action, a different operation, a different impact. The lion, oh, the wild ox, but all of them, destruction, killing, damage, extremity of trouble. And these things are targeted upon the child of God. Life targets disaster upon you. Why? Why should it be so? It should be so. I'll tell you. You are supposed to be condemned with the world and live like the world so that the condemnation comes upon you. And all of a sudden, you wake up one day, no, I don't want the condemnation, I'm walking away. Which world? They want to drag you back. They want you back in. And some of the things that are targeted against us are to bring so much frustration and confusion so that you turn back to that side. You know people do turn back. If you have never seen, at least you would have heard, of someone who was a fantastic Christian, some pastor, at a certain point the fellow turns back and makes so much noise about turning back from Christianity, from being the messenger of God, unto the devil. That's what the world wants. They want you to turn back. So they will throw everything at you, different directions. Like I said, you are holding this side, the other side is coming out. You are trying to lock this area, the other side is wide open. And by the time you rush there, some disaster has struck here. And even this disaster is less than the one behind you. So sometimes it's a whole lot of confusion. But thank God for God. He never abandons his own. I know the thoughts that I have for you. God is thinking about you. Yes, the thing would want to tear you in different directions, but there is God. Hold on to him. God did not say, the weapon shall not be fashioned against you. But he did say, they will be fashioned. But that none of them can succeed. It says, no weapon that is fashioned against you shall prosper. They can never succeed against you. When you see those things, stand firm. God does not fail. Your God will not fail you. Except you don't belong to God in truth. If you do. God cannot fail you. Bear something in mind. Nothing can ever happen to you except God has given an approval of it. Before the devil could do anything to Job, God had to give approval. If you are his own child, just know that nothing and nothing at all can happen except he says so. And if he has not said so, why worry about the kind of things? The devil would come with every kind of pretense. And this is where the problem is. The devil is pretending like a lion outside and you have run out. And in the process of running out, you break your legs. Meanwhile, there was no lion in the first instance. If your heart was focused on God, you would realize that, well, maybe that's a lion. But did God allow a lion to come there? If he did, what is the purpose? Because God will not allow anything to come to you except there is a positive end to it. There is a positive purpose attached to it. Let's depend on God absolutely. Realize that God is careful about you. The scripture says God is mindful of us, blessing us all around. 
to the extent that the angels would shout, God, who is man that you are mindful of him? God cares for you. God cares for all the persons that are his own. You have just one thing to do, devote yourself to God. In the way that you know how, led by the Spirit of God. Devote yourself to God. The coverage of God is upon you. This is a fantastic prayer. Lord, I am surrounded by all manner of disasters upon this world, but I trust in you. I know that your hand covers me. And I know the last sentence of that thing, you have answered me. That's the one that I didn't read at that point. You have answered me. That is to say, even as I pray, God is doing it. That is the confidence of the man who belongs to God. It says, before they ask, I have answered. And God will do anything that we ask of him if we keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. You have answered me. God will answer you at all times. You belong to him. Every prayer of yours receives an answer from God. And that a positive answer. But bear in mind that no evil can befall you upon this earth. And nothing can happen in your life except God says so. The devil does not have any word over you. God has the only word of your life. Nothing and nothing else can have a pronouncement in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.